Hello. My name is Jim Olson. I'm a math education professor at Western Illinois University. This is the fifth and final video on how to make online quizzes with hot potatoes. Before we get to our main topic, I'm going to go ahead and go through rather quickly the different slides that we've been looking at throughout these videos. Feel free to pause the video at any time if you want to review this material. In this fifth video, I'm going to show you how to upload your quiz to the Internet. Here are a few of the other things we've been doing throughout these videos. What I'd like to do now is review the recommended use of folders and file locations. I recommend that you have one main folder, which I called Math 206, to house your quizzes and graphics. In the Math 206 folder, you're going to have your quiz files, which have a suffix of .jqz. And you're also going to have the web pages that are automatically generated by Hot Potatoes, which have a suffix of .htm. I recommend using the same file name for the quiz file and the web page, except for the suffix. Also residing in the Math 206 folder is the Graphics folder. This is where all your graphics will be housed. In this case, I have three quizzes and corresponding web pages, and I happen to have four graphics over here that are used throughout those quizzes. There happen to be three GIFs and one JPEG. The United States map has more color and detail and needs to be um, a JPEG file. Now, it may be that you want to send your quizzes to someone else. If you've been using the folder structure that I described on the last slide, this is very easy to do. What you're going to do is go to the main folder in Windows Explorer, which is the Math 206 folder in our examples. You're going to select all the files. Then you're going to right click, send to a compressed or zipped folder. The zipped folder will be created which you then email as an attachment to whoever you wish. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. Here is my C drive, and we are looking at the Math 206 folder, and here are the contents of the Math 206 folder. My three quizzes and corresponding web pages in the graphics folder. So I'm going to select all. I'm going to right click. Then I'm going to send to compressed or zipped folder. It takes about two seconds and the zipped folder is right here. This is what you're going to email to whoever you wish and then when they receive it they'll be able to open it easily. Now for the purposes of the rest of this video I'm going to go ahead and delete the zipped folder. Now I'd like to show you how to upload your quizzes to the Internet. There are two ways you can do this. First of all, we will upload our quizzes, or one particular quiz, in fact, the Mental Math Quiz 1, to the hotpotatoes.net website. When you create a web page, you're going to see a button like this. So I'm going to return to jQuiz. I have typed in a sixth item here into Mental Math Quiz 1. And I'm going to save this using our typical method. And I'm also going to hit the Create Web Page, as we've done many times before. And I'm going to save that. Uh, yes, I want to replace it. And this is the typical window that we've seen many times. And most of the time in these videos, we've been clicking View the Exercise in the Browser. Right below that, there's another button that says Upload the file to the hotpotatoes.net website. We're going to go ahead and do that. Now, since I have already done this once and created a demo account, my username and password is in here. But what it's going to look like when you come in the first time is that those will be blank, and you're going to want to check this right here that says Create a demo account for me on hotpotatoes.net. Then you'll type in your name here. and you'll hit OK and follow the instructions. A 
password will be assigned to you. Since I have already created the demo account, I'm going to go ahead and put in my password and hit OK. It says that it already has mental math quiz number one. Would you like to overwrite it? Yes, I would like to overwrite it because I have added a sixth item. This is a full featured program and it's going to also upload my graphics files, the ones that are needed. This says that your exercise contains media file names which have already been loaded onto your account. Put a check mark next to each media file which should be uploaded to the server again. Now I have not changed either of my media files so I'm not going to check those. Then it gives you an option of making the page public or making it password protected. This is a full-blown virtual or learning area where you can have quizzes for classes and you can have your students log on as well. This is an interesting note here. Your file is accessible here at this URL and the URL has been placed on the clipboard for us. How nice. So we'll hit OK. Would you like to view the exercise now? I'll say yes. It's going to take me over to the internet it's going to go to the hotpotatoes.net website and here's our quiz. This is the quiz we're used to. I'm going to go ahead and jump to item 6 just to see if my new item is working correctly here. What is 15 percent on a twelve dollar restaurant meal? That would be a dollar twenty plus sixty cents is a dollar eighty and so far so good. Okay, I think I'll stop stop taking the quiz now. You can learn more about how the hotpotatoes.net website works by going there. Now I'd like to give you an idea of how you can upload your quizzes to another server on the internet. To do this, you're going to need a file transfer program such as WinSCP or some other website where you can upload files. What you're going to do is drag and drop the entire folder which contains, which contains the quiz files, the web pages, and the graphics. This is the Math 206 folder. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that now. So I'm going to go over and boot up WinSCP. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now if you've never done uploading to the internet you may want to study the process a little bit more so you understand what's going on. This is typical of a FTP program. On the left hand side is my C drive and I'll scroll down here so I can see the Math 206 folder. Here it is. And on the right hand side is the server. In this case it's the Ecom server at Western Illinois University. And I prefer to put this in the HTTP folder. And I'm going to put my folder inside the WIU folder. That's where I like to put most of my folders. So I'm going to take the Math 206 folder and I'm going to drag it over here to the WIU folder. The little plus sign means that it's going to make an additional copy. This is the verification dialog box. Do we want to copy this to this location? Yes I do. And this process is going to take a few moments. It should be here now. Let's go ahead and check it. When we open the WIU folder, when we scroll down to Math 206, we see that all the contents have been transferred over correctly. Now let's go ahead and check to see if this is working. I'm going to go to my home page and I'm going to put in the path. I'm going to do this kind of the crude way first. I need to put in Math 206.
and this will show me the contents of the Math 206 folder. This is the crude way of doing it. This isn't going to be the typical way. But here's the Mental Math 1 web page, and here is our Mental Math quiz number one again, live on the internet. Now, give you, to give you an idea, what I plan on doing is I plan on making a website where all my online quizzes will be housed. And there's a link right here to the Hot Potatoes online quizzes. It brings you to this main page where you can take quizzes. You can go to the Hot Potatoes site at the University of Victoria. Or you can learn how to make your own quizzes. This is where you maybe have already been because this is where the videos are housed. So as these quizzes are developed, you'll be able to find them in the Take Quizzes area. This concludes the fifth and final video on how to make online quizzes with hot potatoes. I think this is a great program. I encourage you to use it. Have a nice day.